हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस आई एम होपिंग दैट माय वीडियोस आर एडिंग सम वैल्यूज इन योर डे टू डे इंट्यून ऑपरेशन वर्क प्लीज कंसीडर सब्सक्राइबिंग माय चैनल बाय सब्सक्राइबिंग यू विल गेट एक्सेस टू न्यू वीडियोज एज सुन एज दे आर अपलोडेड एंड इट्स अ ग्रेट वे टू स्टे अप टू डेट विद माई कंटेंट एंड सपोर्ट मी एट द सेम टाइम तो विद दिस वीडियो I will begin a series of automating Intune reports using PowerShell and the Graph API or using Power BI. In this video, I am going to show you how to configure email notification for list of latest cumulative updates as well as out of band updates using PowerShell. And then I will show you how we can create an email notification using Task Scheduler. Just to inform you in advance that in the next video. I will demonstrate you the easiest way to create an Intune patching compliance report and how to get a mail subscription. Now before implementing this, let me give you a brief idea why we need this report or what is the requirement of this report. So if you are using SCM, you know that you can create a software update group to see which patches you are being deployed to the devices. But with Intune, it's not possible to view the specific update that a machine is downloading and installing. However, we do know that the machine will always check for and download the latest cumulative update. So this script automates the process of checking the patch released on Patch Tuesday and out of band update for various versions of Windows 10 and 11. And it helps to avoid the manual efforts of checking for the latest version of each version and also allow you to track the status of out of band updates on a daily basis so that you can take appropriate action whenever there is a new OOB update released by the Microsoft. Now let's see how we can configure the email notification of latest cumulative updates as well as OOB update using PowerShell. So before configuring this, let me show you what I'm talking about so that you have a fair idea of what we are going to do and what we are going to achieve by implementing this email notification. So after implementing this, you will get the email notification in your email box. Let me open my test email box. As you can see that I have a mail stating that that Intune patching and the subject line is Intune cumulative update list for Windows 10 and 11 patches as on today date and if you scroll down we can easily find that for each operating system what is the latest KV article released by the Microsoft and what is the release date for that KV article. So by confirming this you can easily monitor if there is a new KV article released by the Microsoft or if there is any new out of band patch released by the Microsoft and then you can take the appropriate action accordingly. And best part is that you no need to configure this on every month. This is a one time activity and when there is a new patch for from Microsoft, this report is automatically going to fetch that patch and is going to populate in your mailbox. And by implementing this, you will get a latest release date for each version including Windows 11 22 h2b1 and windows 11 21 h2b2 and all the versions of windows 10 and their respective latest cumulative update released by the microsoft this report is only going to provide you the latest cumulative update for windows 10 and 11 excluding any preview updates as well as the oob updates for oob updates i have another script i'll show in a minute which will provide you the latest oob kb article along with the, their release date now let's see how we can implement this. So to implement this, you have to download the PowerShell script, which I already uploaded in GitHub and I'll provide you the link in the description section. So let me open the GitHub and download the scripts. So I have already opened the GitHub location. I'm going to download the script. To do this, you have to go to the code section and under code section, you have to click on download zip file. And once downloaded, you have to open this and you have to extract these files. I already extracted these files, so I'm not going to extract it again. Now let me show you how we are getting the mail notification by running these two scripts manually. 
and then I will configure a task ruler and show you the same thing via automated way. So first let me show you my email inbox. So we can see that I have no mail in my email inbox and when I am running these scripts, I'll get a mail notification in my mailbox. So let me run the first script manually first. I'm going to edit it. And then first I'm going to execute the execution policy bypass. And then I'm going to run this entire script. So this script is first going to create a folder under C temp and then Microsoft a patch list folder first is going to download the patch list for Microsoft then it's going to filter the patch list and then it's going to consolidate the patch list combining the Windows 11 and Windows 10 patch list in a single CSV file and after some time it's going to finalizing the patch list and then we can see that all the patches released against each version and there the release date and KB article and then it's going to send a mail to the red mailbox and let me show you my mailbox and now we can see that we are getting a mail stating the same thing in June patching latest cumulative update for this date and these are the KB articles for and these for Windows 11 22 H2 B1 this is the latest KB article and this is the release date for that KB article and you can also see that some of the versions of Windows 10 is out of support but this script is still providing what is the latest KB article for that version and what was the release date for that KB article now let me run the OOP update script and show you how it is looks like when it's you are getting a mail so to do this we have to run the script ob update script and then we have to click on edit let me first clear the screen and now we have to run this entire script again this script is going to do the same thing this is with script is also going to create a folder in c temp microsoft patch list this is not a hard coded you can provide your own location under variable section and then it's going to download the patch list from the Microsoft then it's going to filter the patch list then it's going to consolidate the patch list and then finalizing the patch list and we can see that we are getting less number of OE updates for each version we are getting the same thing in mailbox it's saying that in june patching latest OB update released for windows 10 and 11 as on this date we are getting the same information as in csv attachment also well we can see that the for windows 11 22 h2 b1 that the latest ob update released by the microsoft is this one and the release date is october 18 2022 now let's see how we can configure the automated mail notification using task scheduler so to do this you have to modify the powershell script so I'm going to explain you what all modification you need to do in the PowerShell and the same thing you can apply for the other PowerShell as well. So you have to update the user input section and you have to provide all this information. You have to provide the working folder where this script is going to download the things and going to merge and, and create a CSV file for you. You have to update the to from CC subject line for my lab purpose, I'm using my Gmail SMTP server. But in your case, you can use your on-premises SMTP server and you have to provide the port number and then you have to provide the priority. That's all you have to modify in this, this script. The same thing you have to modify the update list script as well. And then you have to create a task schedule for those two scripts. So, so to do this, we have to use a third script and let me open the third script task scheduler script and within task scheduler script you have to provide the task scheduler name OOB update and same thing I'm going to provide under description section and then this is the location where you have to save this OOB update file for now I am going to save this under C drive so under C drive I am going I am going to create a new folder called MS patch list and then is under this location you have to save your both the scripts and then you have to copy the path of that script copy as path under script path you have to provide the path of the script and then whatever schedule time you want to 
fix you can fix it here for now i am okay with 9 am and then i am going to so run this script now we can see that the OB update uh, Tashular created successfully let me open the Tashular now we can see that the OB update Tashular created successfully and the trigger time is 9 am every day you can modify as per your requirement same thing you have to do for the update list as well let me first copy the path of update list copy as path and then we have to modify the path and then we have to modify the name task name and see you update you can give name as per your choice and the same thing i am going to provide under description as well here i am going to change the time from 9 to 10 am and then i'm going to run this script now the cu update task is also created successfully and if you go to the task scheduler and just refresh it now we can see that the both the task scheduler created successfully now let me run this by manually triggering the task scheduler but before that let me delete my both the mails now in my mailbox i have no mail i am going to run the task scheduler manually just by clicking run and same thing I am going to do for OOB update as well. Now we have to wait for some time and after some time we will see the mail in my mailbox. Now after some time we can see that we are getting the mail notification for both latest cumulative update for Windows 10 and Windows 11 as well as the OOB update list for Windows 10 and 11. So that's all I want to show you with respect to mail notification of cumulative update and OOB updates. If this automation is useful in your day to day operation, please like, share and consider subscribing my channel and I will see you soon in my next engine automation video. I hope this is an informative video for you. Thank you very much for watching this video.